South Korean companies are on alert for World Consumer Rights Day when China will go through the annual ritual of airing a TV program that criticizes foreign businesses in that country. Beijing, upset over Seoul's defense upgrade, has been bashing Korean companies and encouraging its citizens to boycott Korean-made products so the program could serve as a barometer of whether the activities will continue. Kim Hye-sung takes a closer look. March 15th, World Consumer Rights Day, is also the day China's main state television broadcaster CCTV airs a program that's become infamous for slamming foreign companies for misconduct against its citizens. That's why Korean companies are on high alert for clues to what it might say about Beijing's position on the THAAD missile defense system, especially Lotte Group, which has borne the brunt of the backlash after it provided the land for the THAAD battery. Over the years, big names like Apple, Volkswagen and Nissan have been targeted by the annual investigative program. The foreign companies targeted by the show face allegations ranging from unfair pricing to poor quality and see their image in the country tarnished. If the program chooses to attack Korean companies, the anti-Korea sentiment in China is likely to grow. But I think that is very unlikely. In the days since President Park's impeachment, Chinese diplomatic sources and state media have already started toning down their accusations against Korean companies and the THAAD issue. After Park's impeachment on Friday, China even canceled several anti-Korea protests scheduled to take place in Beijing over the weekend. With a presidential election set to take place in Korea in two months and the new U.S. Secretary of State scheduled to visit South Korea, China and Japan this week, experts say China won't want to stir up anti-China sentiment in Korea, nor will it take actions that could affect its foreign relations. But that will become clearer on Wednesday after the show airs on CCTV. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.